So I'm going to show you how to reflect the triangle CED. Here's my triangle C to E to D, and back to C. Um, through this line here, the line's called X equals 3, but that doesn't matter too much. We've just been asked to reflect it through the symmetry line. So we'll take each image point, and we'll notice that C is exactly one unit from the symmetry line in length. So we need to come out on a straight line that is at right angles to a symmetry line. Now in a way, because it's a vertical line, if you just go straight through, you will be forming a right angle. And you'll see that the image of C, we'll call that C dash, will be at the point 28 where you can see the red button. So we'll mark that in. Mark that C dash. Then we'll go to our next point E, and we can see that E is 1, 2, 3 from the symmetry line. So if we go 1, 2, 3 from the symmetry line to the left, then we'll find where our point E is reflected to. So we'll mark that in there. And finally, we'll come down to D. D is in line with E, so it will be 3, 1, 2, 3 from the symmetry line, and across 3, 1, 2, 3. And we can draw that in, D dash, and then we can join up and get our reflection. Shade it in so it's clear. We now have reflected triangle CED to get its image C dash, E dash, put the dash in. C dash, D dash, E dash. And that is reflection symmetry in an easy vertical line. So we're going to reflect our quadrilateral D, E, F, C. So D, E, F, C and back to D. That's our quadrilateral. It's a trapezium. We're going to reflect it through the line L. So again, I'll take each point and reflect that. Now, to get my 90 degree angle with a horizontal line, I must come down vertically. So my F dash is going to be there. F dash. My E is two away, so we need to come up to the other side. And E dash goes here. D dash will be here in the same way. And C dash will be here. And now we can join up. That's not a very good uh, attempt to join there. Let's just quickly rub that out and improve that. Okay, so let's try again. So D, C, F, E. And we'll shade it in so it's nice and clear. So we've reflected the quadrilateral C, D, E, F through the line L that comes out the other side. Obviously I've done it by hand. You do it with a ruler and pencil and you'll get a neater finished article. The main property is that it goes through the symmetry line forming a 90 degree angle and it's exactly the same distance the other side of the symmetry line. So it's one down from F to the line and one down in the same direction to F dash. We'll now look at one uh, which is slightly harder when we have a diagonal line. So we're now going to um, reflect the shape, the L shape, marked with uh, points A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, C, D, E, F. It traces out our L shape and reflect it through this um, diagonal line. Now to form our right angle and to come out the same distance, uh, if you look at A and you come across, you are going across half a diagonal. So you need to come out the other side the same distance. I will draw in the very lightly the, the direction I'm taking, and that forms a 90 degree angle there. So A comes out here. B, if you look at B, B is exactly one diagonal away from the going in the 90 degree angle from the line. So we go through and out the other side. I'm at the coordinate 2, 4. I'll mark in that point there for B. We come across to C now. C is half a diagonal. So we come through and C will be there. So mark in C. If I now mark in D, D dotted lines across, that's one diagonal across here, and that's where my D will come out to. Now the E, the E is one, two diagonals away from that symmetry line. 
one, two. So come out one, two, and your E will be here. So let's mark that in. And finally, F, F, one diagonal, and out again to here. Mark that in, and you've got all the points. So let's join them up. And there it is, that's our new shape. We'll shade it in so it's nice and clear. I've done it by hand, but you should see if you turn your page that it looks exactly as it should do. Now another um, just feature to show you the properties, if I join up all of the points with their images, you'll see they all form 90 degree lines with that symmetry line. So here are the 90 degrees that I'm talking about. And that sort of shows you it's in exactly the right condition, uh, line. If any of the lines weren't, if they weren't all parallel, if you look, they're parallel. If one of them wasn't, you would have put it in the wrong shape. In the wrong place, rather. Okay, so that, I'll just shade it in a little bit uh, thicker. And that is our final shape. Trace it out there. And that's symmetry through a diagonal line.